Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm here to talk to you about a brand new product that's hitting the market. I've had it in my possession now for a few weeks and I've been testing it pretty thoroughly and it is not this Spanish set me rifle that I'm holding in my hands right now. But the reason I have this rifle in my hands is because the pistol that I want to show you is related to this rifle. Now, of course, this is a Spanish rifle. It was developed after World War II by the German engineers that designed the STG 45M, which was a roller locking assault rifle that competed against the STG 44. Now, those German engineers went to Spain after the war and they continued to work on that roller locking mechanism, which evolved into the Spanish Set Me rifle, which then evolved into the HK91 series of rifles that were adopted by the German military during the Cold War. But anyway, let's talk a little bit more about the pistol that I want to show you this afternoon. The pistol that I'm talking about is the new POF5 9mm pistol. Now I'm going to read to you what the markings are across the top of the pistol here. It says POF MP5 14 and then it has a serial number. This pistol is made in Pakistan. POF is Pakistani Ordnance Factories. They have about 14 factories in Pakistan and they manufacture under license a number of HK firearms. This pistol is manufactured by POF and brought in by Nat Mill. It's being exclusively sold between Atlantic Firearms, AGS Armament, and Copper Custom Armament. I'll put links to those companies down below. This new little pistol, which is an identical copy of the MP5, except in pistol form with an eight inch barrel and overall length of about 17 and a half inches, it's gonna retail for right around $14.99. So there's a lot of clones on the market, US made clones that sell for more than that. So for $14.99, you're gonna be able to get your hands on one of these little pistols, which has really got me pretty excited. I'll talk about some more of the features here in a minute, but let's shoot this pistol and see how it shoots. That's a lot of fun to shoot. So this thing shoots really good. The pistol is light enough where you can shoot it as a handgun, but you can also shoot it from the hip. But I also have something else I wanna show you that's a brand new product that's gonna go hand in hand with this pistol, which is gonna add about a $250 price tag to the gun if you want this accessory. What's that accessory you're asking? You can probably guess. Let's take a look at it. So off with the butt cap and let's put on that new accessory I was talking about. This is a Century Arms arm brace, very similar to the SIGTAC SB15 with a brand new adapter that allows it to install onto any standard HK94, POF5 or other type firearm. Just stick it on there, push it down, pop in the pin. There we go. And now you have an arm brace, or if you watch the channel, you'll know you also have a makeshift stock if you desire to shoot the pistol like this, which according to the BATF is perfectly legal. Putting this brace on this pistol does not change the classification, it remains a pistol. And as of right now, there's no illegal way to shoot a handgun. So. This is a pretty cool $250 accessory. Now it's not currently available. It should be available shortly and the $250 price tag is an estimate that may change. But this is the, one of the few prototypes out in the wild right now and I've been playing with it and it is cool. It turns this into a very handy little nine millimeter carbine that you can take across state lines without filing a bunch of paperwork and it is not an NFA item. Let's do a little bit of shooting with it.
Yeah, that is cool, folks. I mean, that is just so much fun. The fact that I can shoot it like that, the sight picture works great. What I will say is the brace sets up a little bit high. If I put it on the, the smallest aperture here on the diopter sight, I really have to push my cheek down against it to get a proper sight picture. However, with the widest open aperture, the combat aperture, it works flawlessly. And again, this pistol was sighted in perfectly from the factory right out of the box. I didn't have to adjust the sights at all. It's just fun, man. This is probably one of the coolest things I've seen hit the street in a long time, especially with this arm brace on it. Fun, fun stuff. I like it a lot. Because the POF5 has both a tri-lug barrel, HK style, and a half by 28 thread, you can do things like put on your standard 9mm suppressor, which in this case is an Echo 9 from AAC, and it just screws right onto the end of the barrel. It's a long thread, so this takes a little while. The tri-lug allows you to use a, a quick detach suppressor if you have one, but if not, like I said, just a standard half by 28 thread works just, just as good. Lock the bolt open. I will put some eyes on, but I'm not going to put ears on. Let's see how it sounds. Now, these are not subsonic loads. These are just standard velocity, 9mm, 115 grain ball loads. Definitely is not hurting my ears. I don't know if it's uh, a low enough um, reduction in the noise to say it's actually hearing safe, but in my case it is, but I'm deaf anyway, but it's definitely not ringing my ears. It's very quiet from behind the gun. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have changed the point of impact much at all. It's hitting right on. We're about 40 yards away or so from the berm down there. You can see those little red shiny things. That's from some uh, USAChemicalSupply.com explosives we had out here last week. When we had uh, Iraq Veteran 8888 out here and the Funker Tactical guys. And it's just right on, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. So, suppressor friendly. So when you pick up your little bundle of joy from the local gun shop, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna come in this box. On the outside it has POF, which is the manufacturer again, Pakistan Ordnance Factories, and then the logo for Natmill, which is of course the actual importer. Inside the box, you'll find a green manual. Now you'll notice it says MP5A2A3 on it, and that's because this pretty much deals with the full auto version of this pistol. Um, I believe that the final versions of this that will ship with the gun will have a sticker on there telling you that this is a manual for a full auto. However, you will still be able to learn how to take the pistol apart and how to service it and things like that and how to basically operate it um, regardless of the fact that it is for an MP5. Inside this little storage area here, you will find a POF 30 round magazine. And then a little bit further into the box, you will find the POF 5 pistol. So that's what it's going to look like should you order one. The finish on the POF 5 pistol is um, a little bit rough. This is one of the first guns to come in the country that uh, came in before the actual production models. I don't know what the actual production models will look like, but this pistol does have some handling marks on it. It has a standard black painted on finish like you would find on, say, a HK94 or something like that. However, it does have those handling marks. It looks as though perhaps these pistols were stacked on top of each other at some point. These are new pistols, though. They are not used. Another thing that I noticed about these, well, actually two things I thought was pretty cool. First of all, it has a standard button release for taking the magazine out, but it also has the upgraded flapper or paddle mag release where you can pinch it with your thumb and pull the magazine out of the gun. Pretty nice, but if you look close to the flapper here, you'll notice something. That's not a fake pin. You'll know that on some of the semi-automatic pistols, or I'm sorry, HK-94 semi-automatic rifles that came into the country in the 1980s, they lacked this pin. That's because the ATF didn't allow them in the country that way. Well, the POF-5 is BATF approved and it has a push pin lower. So when you go to field strip this gun, this lower will hinge down. It won't just come off the gun. And you can pop the pin out and take the lower completely off the gun, which also makes this an ideal pistol. If you have a registered sear pack or something like that, you could drop it right on this, this gun and, and go right to work. So overall, it's got some pretty neat features that are standard right out of the box. Let's take a look inside the POF-5. First, you just want to remove butt cap. And then this lower is just going to hinge down because it has a pin in it. That's kind of cool. Pull that pin out. And then your lower 
comes off from the receiver. I'm going to stick my pin in that little hole there so I don't lose it. And then you can pull the bolt and carrier out real easy. I think that'll look familiar to you if you're used to shooting guns like the HK94. To take it apart, very simple, just rotate and pull. Bolt head comes off, locking piece, firing pin and spring. And then take the handguard off, the A3 type handguards. Again, it's just a push pin. Pull that little pin out. And it comes off and you can see the eight inch barrel. The barrel does have a fluted chamber. It's, it's just like you would expect. Everything on it looks just like the H and K that it copies. Put it back together, put the handguard on, stick that pin back in the hole. I'm going to put my lower on first and I'll put my bolt back together here. Put that in there, push the pin in, hinge it closed, pick up your carrier. Take your locking piece, firing pin, and spring, stick it in there, push it back till it engages, rotate it just a little bit, take your bolt head, and it's back together, real simple. Drop that in, you gotta make sure your bolt's forward. Drop that in, and it'll drop right down. And then you just put your butt cap back on and you're done. All right, guys, it's time to wrap this video up. This is not a review video, and the reason it's not a review is because my company, Copper Custom Armament, is going to be selling these pistols. What I want to do is send some of these out when we get them into the shop to other YouTubers and other bloggers to have them review the pistol. I don't want you to think that because I, I like this pistol that I'm trying to hard sell it to you. That's not what this is all about. I'm just showing you a brand new product. It just so happens that we do sell it along with Atlantic Firearms and also AGS Armament. So again, hopefully you'll see some of these pistols popping up on other popular YouTube channels. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. You can also find Copper Custom on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash copper custom armament or you can find us on the web at www.coppercustom.com thanks for watching everybody we'll talk to you guys soon <laughs> come on how can you not like that that's just too much fun <laughs>